Hello. In this video, pass me that those two books also. In this video, we're going to go over things that I've learned. All right. An old man told me, if you do things that people don't want to do, you'll make a living. For instance, you could be a garbage, a mercenary, right? <laughs> but you could be a garbage man, right? Pick up the trash for the city, for everybody. You can make a living, right? Mm -hmm. But there are some jobs that people refuse to do. Well, some people don't want to be a mercenary, like most women don't. I know, but that was just an example of something that people Most men don't want to do that either. So, I can't come up with any examples. Uh, okay. Let's see, people that refuse to do something. There's a guy on YouTube, he made, he's a plumber apparently, but he's famous for making a hover bike that gets off the ground. It's really? just two fans, and he sort of sits on them, and they lift them up. Does it move? Uh, but he can't control which way it's going and stuff, so he just goes up and maybe moves forward. It, you know, it's like the first, the first invention on like the first light bulb how long did it last no oh, it only lasted you know two minutes three minutes so later on somebody else will work with him and they'll make a better one or even he himself all right now in this moment let's talk about the way to happiness this is a book written by, I believe it was written by L. Ron Hubbard. What did he write? A book, A Way to Happiness. That's this thing. He also this wrote, one. he started the Church of Scientology. What is the Church of Scientology? Do you know? They believe in church and science mixed together? I believe logi means the study of and science. Uh, it was based on one book that he wrote. He wrote many books. In the one book, it said Dianetics, the science of the mind. That's what he called it, Dianetics. Like genetics. Dianetics, and in that book I read, it says that sometimes we have wrong thinking installed in our brains. For instance, we might be afraid of a dog, in the example he gives us. And we are afraid of that dog because when we were five years old, the dog barked at us real loud or it bit us. Right? So now we're 30, 40 years old and we're still afraid of dogs. You see? Because of the early memory. So he says, and people don't know why they're afraid of dogs. So, he would talk, he said, you need somebody to talk with you, and says, okay, ask you several questions, like a coach. And the coach says, what is your memory, of, your earliest memory of dogs? Until you consciously come up with, oh, that's why, that's what happened, I was bitten by a dog. Do you understand my example? Mm -hmm. Another tip that he gave us, was in the book Dianetics he said never skip a word that you don't know the meaning of. If you're reading and then you don't remember what you read, go back there's a word that you don't know the meaning of. And that's why it, if you don't understand what you're reading, uh, if you don't understand one word then you won't understand what 
the page says or the paragraph says. You know what sometimes is wrong? Like mm -hmm. when I'm reading in my head and then something happens. You know what happens to me then? No. Like either I start singing a song in my head that's mm -hmm. I've been singing all day because it's stuck in my head and then it becomes jumbled with the words mm -hmm. and it's confusing and I have to read the whole thing again. Mm -hmm. Or I just like start noticing all the There's this uh, book called The Power of Concentration, and it says, Theron Q. Dumont is the author, or William, Walk, William Atkinson. He has several names. He also has a name like Swami. You know what a, a pen name is? Nickname? A nickname when you're writing a book. So he said that if you don't concentrate, you won't be able to achieve anything in life. For instance, let's say that you are a painter and you're drawing a beautiful painting or painting a beautiful portrait and then you start watching TV at the same time. Are you concentrating? Hmm? Or you're a, uh, uh, in the old days the carpenters used a lot of hammering and, and nailing, you know, nails. If you don't focus on what you're doing, what's going to happen to your hand? You're going to end up smacking your hand. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you need to concentrate. And then there was another gentleman. He's a doctor. and uh, I read his book that gave me a fantastic technique to... This is like the third, third technique. He said, at every paragraph, cover the last word. If you can guess what the last word is, we cover it with your finger. If you can guess what the last word is, then what, what does that tell you? You are paying attention. Walter Pauk, P-A-U-K, he's the one who gave me that tip book from a book so here we need a DVD player but there's a there's a building in California that says the way to happiness foundation international in Glendale California order form testimonials the way to happiness program okay uh, well, in the way to happiness, it said, don't steal. Number one, read the booklet. Okay, so I, I gotta come. I gotta put the DVD on for you, or I can look for it on the internet. Because I want you to understand, the way to happiness, it's not a religious book, but it you, it gets. Where does it get it, its information from? some of it from the Bible but in every culture there's probably somebody that says don't steal do you know las tres leyes incaicas translated to English las tres leyes incaicas of the incas not the Maya people, not the Aztecs of Mexico, but the Incas of Peru. They only had three laws. You know what they were? No robar, no matar, y no ser ocioso. Yes, that's the, the, the greatest one. Well, both of them are, all three of them. Do you know what they are? No robar. Come on, I knew you were going to fall asleep. Okay. All right. No robar. No matar. Don't steal. Don't kill. And don't be lazy. No seas ocioso. Isn't that a great one? How can a society just have three laws? 
You know how many we have in the United States now, right? Wear a bicycle. <laughs> no. <laughs> what is it? Wear a helmet. <laughs> uh, all of these laws. But in the for the Incas back then, they only had three. Can you imagine that? Just three. So in conclusion, I've talked to you about L. Ron Hubbard. He started this Way to Happiness. It's a little booklet that I loved. It said to don't steal. It had 21 precepts, I think. There's another one, uh, the 21 precepts of the samurai. They were like their rule books, you know, their rules. All right, let's keep the video short. Let's see, what are the three things I just taught you? One, when you're reading, pay attention. How do you do that? Cover the last word in each paragraph. If you can guess it, then you were concentrating. One. And number two, don't skip any words that you don't know. Look them up in a dictionary and practice using them in a sentence. Number three, remember what that was? It's in the video. God bless you and those that's around you. Now, about L. Ron Hubbard, I heard some bad things about him, too, all right? So take what Bruce Lee said, take what is, all right, and you didn't want to come over here to, to sleep, and now you're sleeping. Take what is useful, that's what Bruce, Bruce Lee said, take what is useful. God bless you and those that surround you. Mm. I like sharing this room with my family. My son, my wife, and I sleep here. And the dog, one cat, or two cats. Go do a good deed. Go help somebody.